In this screencast, we're going to look at the Google Calendar Event Publisher Guide. I use this site for two things. First, to create a button that allows people to save an individual event from my site. And second, to create a button that allows people to subscribe to my entire calendar. This is a site that our students, our staff, and our parents use to subscribe to one of our three calendars. We have a traditional calendar, a year-round calendar, and a calendar for our early college. We are going to make the Google Calendar button for the traditional calendar. This is the Event Publisher Guide. I can never remember the URL, so I always just search Google Calendar Event Publisher Guide, and it should show up as your first result. We're going to do this third option, let people save all your events from your site. A little misleading, it actually lets them subscribe to your calendar. Clicking this link just jumps you down to the right part of the page. We have our three-step instructions, but all we really need is the calendar address link, and we need the XML version of this. In my Google Calendar, I do have my traditional calendar, which is the one we want to share. So I'm going to click the little triangle next to it and click Calendar Settings. If you scroll down, there is a section for calendar address, and we want this XML version. So I'm going to click XML. I'm going to copy the address and click OK. Back at the Event Publisher Guide, I'm going to paste my XML version of the calendar address link, choose the button that I want, and click Create Button HTML. This will generate my code that I'm going to copy. Go to the page where you want to add your button, I'm going to click Edit. I could paste the code right here, but it won't display right. I actually need to click HTML. And we were adding the traditional calendar, so I'm going to find it in the code and enter a line break and then paste my code. Preview and my code should show up as the button. Perfect. Click update and I'm going to save my changes. When someone visits the page, they have the option to subscribe to any of our three calendars. I'm going to click on my traditional calendar. It'll pop you over to Google Calendar and give the option to add this calendar. Sometimes I don't want to actually send people to a page to subscribe to a calendar. I prefer just to put it in an email. So back at the Event Publisher Guide, and I'm looking at my code. You want to grab the URL, which should come right after the ahref, and look for that open quote. Start copying until you get to the next quote. You can paste the link straight into the email, but I think it's a little bit cleaner if you click on the link button. Under text to display, I just put the calendar name. And I'm going to paste the URL for the web address and click OK. And now we have a nice clean link that I will send. Now when they receive the email, they'll just have to click the link and it should pop them over to the Google Calendar and again give the option to yes, add this calendar. 